Exegol. The Sith planet introduced to us in The Rise of Skywalker. A lot of the Disney Plus series at the moment are building towards the sequel trilogy with the all roads lead to Exegol mentality. With this in mind, I believe this last season of The Bad Batch is going to be a huge part of this. Let me tell you why. In Rebels, where we are reintroduced to Captain Rex alongside Wolf and Gregor, his mentality is that of someone who has no interest in fighting the Empire. He's content to live out his days in the Outer Rim with his friends. This is a stark contrast to where we see Rex currently in the Bad Batch, where he is leading the clone underground movement. So the question has to be asked, what happened? My theory is that we will see the Clone Rebellion take place. I swear in Rebels that Rex mentions there being a clone uprising that ultimately failed, but I cannot find it for the life of me. If any of you watching also remember this, please comment below because this strengthens my theory a lot, otherwise I'm just hallucinating. With only three episodes remaining in the series, I can see the location of Mount Tantus being discovered, where Clone Force 99 alongside Captain Rex and their brothers will lead the assault on the base. The last couple episodes are titled Flash Strike and The Cavalry Has Arrived, which sounds pretty assault-like to me. Ultimately, it will fail. I'm not sure who exactly will die, but obviously Rex, Wolf, and Gregor will survive at the least. I'm aware Wolf hasn't turned his back on the Empire yet, and that might not occur until the assault itself is taking place. Now, that's all well and good. Cool theory, Jesse. But how does this lead to Exegol? Well, I'm glad you asked. As we saw early in the season, the Emperor made sure it was well known how important it was that Mount Tantus remain hidden and secure. In order for the clone uprising in my theory to take place, although it will ultimately fail, the base on Mount Tantus will no longer be hidden. At the bare minimum, three clones in Rex, Wolf and Gregor will have survived. We also know that the Empire have no problem leveling bases. They've done it to Kamino, and we also saw that they had done it to one of Hemlock's former labs earlier this season. I could definitely see this happening to Tantus once the location is found out, with Tarkin at the helm of one of the Star Destroyers. Just on Tarkin quickly too, I was super surprised when he wasn't aware of what was occurring on Mount Tantus. The Emperor held him in high regard, so if anyone was to know about Project Necromancer, I thought it would be him for sure. I wouldn't be surprised if Hemlock was also inside the lab when the bombardment occurs, although they may require his knowledge, so I could see that one going either way. Once Mount Tantus has been destroyed, obviously the Emperor will be searching for a new location for Project Necromancer, one that cannot be located as easily as Mount Tantus. This is when he will go to Exegol, as the only way to reach it requires having a Sith Wayfinder. With what information we have about the Wayfinders, there was only two in existence. Thank you so much for watching guys, let me know what you think of this theory and how you think Bad Batch will end. We're in for a great last three episodes and I cannot wait to see what happens and what it may lead to beyond that. Until next time, may the force be with you. Always.